Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, welcome to this segment and it's on love. What is love, you may ask? Now you guys know the Bible is a rule book by which I live by. I take whatever is written in it seriously. So today I'd like to give you guys um, a yardstick on what love is according to Bible standards. We find this in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 where the Bible gives us scenarios of what love is. Um, it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 7, Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It's not puffed up. It's not proud. Love does not... does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. That is what love is by Bible standards. So I'd like, firstly, I'd like to encourage somebody to take the love walk today. Choose to intentionally practice whatever is written in this scripture and I guarantee you your life will never be the same again but also I want to point out what love is not someone cannot claim to love you and they are forcing you into having sex outside of marriage I mean you're a Christian you shouldn't be doing that please uh, say no that is what I'll tell you and then also they cannot claim to love you and they are forcing you to have an abortion after you know messed up. They're forcing you to have an abortion now. They can also, also, they cannot claim to love you when they are beating on you. They will, you know, this, they can give you this excuse of, oh, I beat you because I love you so much. What is that? Sis, that is not love. By Bible standards, that is not love at all. I'd like to encourage you to just have some standards. Okay? And thank you for listening to me and God bless you as you choose to make to, to take the love walk. Bye.